What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another vlog. It has been a minute since I've recorded a video. Last time you guys remember, I was working on the 5.0, getting it sanded down, ready for paint. And oh my gosh, was that a project. I'm here uh, early August. It is August, uh, August 10th. And uh, I, I'm done and I forgot to make videos. I got so distracted. I got so focused in the build that I forgot to make videos of it. I know, I know. I should have. I should have taken the opportunity and ran with it for some content. But I did not do that. But I am done. And you guys will know because the car used to be parked here. It was parked here forever. I got spray marks all over the garage floor. Now the car isn't in perfect condition. There is some areas obviously you give a 19 year old a spray gun in a car and it's not going to go well. Um, there are some areas that I wish didn't turn out how they did and there's still lots of work that needs to be done to the car but I'm driving it now and it is it looks good but there's still work that needs to be done so keep that in mind voila there it is everybody the new paint job on the 2014 Mustang GT so as I said it is not perfect there are some areas I wish were different and I'm gonna walk through those with you the paint when it came out was very rough I think the rear bumper is still that way. Um, the paint came out, it was very rough. You can't really, the rear bumper came out pretty well, but it was very textured. So I did a lot of wet sanding on the car and there is still a lot of wet sanding marks that need to come out. So if you look at it the right way in the sun, voila. So I need to buff it or give it to somebody to buff because I did a lot but I'm not uh, patient enough to do the whole car perfect. So I did it, it took me about a week and then I ran out of patience and started driving it. So it needs a lot of buffing still and I'm going to give it to somebody to buff because I'm impatient, but it's buffed good enough where I feel comfortable driving it around. Um, as you guys can see right here in the sun, it looks swirled because it is so I need to give it to somebody to get buffed better than what I can do but for the most part the car is done I like I said need to get it buffed and then there's a couple small knickknacks here and there that I need to touch up otherwise it is good to go I uh, Ran it at Bandemir a couple weekends ago. First time ever running the car. My first time ever at Bandemir. I go there, film a lot, watch a lot, but I never raced the car. I went and ran this a couple weekends ago. It ran a 13.9 bone stock here at a mile high. Um, because we are racing at Bandemir Raceway, it's about 6,000 feet. And so I went and raced 13.9 bone stock, first time ever racing. The traction control cannot be turned off right now because of the Mikey that it was sold with. And then on top of that, it was a uh, bone stock nothing's done to the car so I have a handful of parts sitting down in the basement that you guys have seen I went and got a boss 302 intake manifold BBK throttle body injectors all types of fun stuff I need to get a cool air intake and I have an exhaust on order right now so that's all I need for the Mustang to be full bolt-on it's gonna go E85 it's gonna get tuned by either Palm Beach Dino or Lido and it's gonna be there and it's gonna be fast so that's all I have left a full bolt on and then I am wanting to save up for boost here soon so whether it be pro charger or top mount supercharger I am going to uh, I'm gonna boost the car I think so we'll see where that leads that's just a rough idea for uh, the future but I would like to boost it and so I'm gonna work towards that yeah the car still needs a little bit of stuff I am going to get new wheels and tires these wheels and tires are sick they do the job for now however they are wide, so the rears are 11, 11 wide, they're 305s. And that, I mean, they're good meaty tires, but uh, the problem is, they're 11 wides in the front as well. I bought these used from a guy that did an autocross with me. And uh, let's go to this side where it's bright. You can see that I had to camber those guys to keep them flush. So these are 305s in the front as well with a three quarter inch spacer so they won't touch the coilovers. And then just add some camber and they were flush. However, now I'm getting the camber wear and these tires are already used to track tires so they have had their fair share of uh, use. So 
I need to find new wheels and tires. I'm thinking of, I'm not sure what I'm thinking of, but we're gonna get new wheels and tires for this thing. If you can see, there's a blue hint in the sun. So it was OEM color, but instead of brown base, they used blue base. I requested that and it looks awesome. So that's the new Mustang of the channel. I'm, I'm gonna start making more videos of it now that it's done. I wanna boost it, I wanna build it, and it's gonna be a fun journey. I hope you guys like the color, I do. I don't know if you guys can see the blue base, but it's awesome. I hope you guys like the car. I hope you guys like the video. If you got any requests that you wanna see done to the car, please make sure to comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.